When you read titles like this, $5,000 to 100K, you're probably thinking it's super, super skeptical and you just want to make a decent amount of money. But I promise you, if you stick to the strategy that I give you, you can take 5K to 100K and you can scale that way further. And there's probably a bunch of reasons that you want to do that because you're interested in cryptocurrency already, right? So we're gonna break this down on this little juicy mass on how you can do that. There's actually three strategies. The first strategy that I'll give you is a complete no-no for me. I'll show you why and how you can avoid that because a lot of people just wanna do this in like one or two trades. And that isn't really a strategy because you're kind of gambling. Let's be honest, brother, cryptocurrency, we are being a little bit speculative, but we understand why we are in the game, right? But you probably wanna quit your job. You probably just wanna do well in this next bull run or you probably want to find some 20 or 30x gem and just put all your monthly income into that coin and just pray for the best. Praying and spraying, 99.9% .9 in this crypto game, it doesn't fucking work. Trust me, I've died, tried to do it many times. Very, very rarely people do that. And you can be obsolete, if that makes sense. You can look at one news article of how this guy turned 5k into a million dollars with some shit coin. I don't want any of you guys to do that. I would rather you have a strategy, and this is the same strategy that I follow. I just do this with a bigger amount of money, but it's very, very easy, but I'm going to break it down because you probably are interested in cryptocurrency to make a fuck ton of money. Why else are you in cryptocurrency? You're not interested for the tech. Don't lie to me. You're not here because HBAR has got some beautiful tech, etc. We just use that as free marketing, right? We want the dollar value hopefully, to go and spend whatever you want to do in the real life. That's why we're interested in these coins. We're not here for the innovation of how this coin can change the world. Again, you invest in these projects because people get FOMO. Big investors are playing the long game. And we're cashing out way before this shit even happens. And number three, the future. Cryptocurrency is the future. Brother, let's just hear to make some money. That's all we're trying to do. If you're here for a longer game, that's fine. But I promise you, bear and bull markets exist. What happens is, and what happened to me in 2020, we read her all the way up and we read her all the way down. Many people said, and including me, saying this was it, we're going to the moon, it's never going to end. What happens is, in the next run, 24 and 25, it's going to be the exact same thing. We're just going to get bigger peaks, a little bit more craziness is going to happen, and we're going to write it all the way down. So you need to understand, buying coins here, selling here. Come back in the next bull run and rinse it all over again, but do not hold shit for the long term Unless it's Bitcoin and Ethereum and you make a fuck ton of money and you just, you don't really care at that point. But chances are, a lot of people have this 5k and they want to get to their first six figures. Once you get to six figures, life can get pretty fun because you only need a 10x to 100, uh, 1 million, right? The hard part is this part. When you have a low amount of money, you can only put 100 bucks here, 1000 bucks here. And you have to be very, very precise. If you have 100k right now, 150k, 200k, you can be spread. And you can have some crazy, crazy bets, but still milk. The problem is you have to get to that first 100K first. So you're here for this. This is where you can take a small amount of money and still a safe way and make it. So EG, you buy coins here and you ride them up. This did way more than the 25 or so X to get to that 100K, but this is just an example of how you would play this game, right? So I'm Jay Gordon. For those of you who don't know, I escaped the rat race with my e-com business. I scaled that to multiple millions, hundreds of thousands of dollars per month. And now my next goal or my next mission is to do the exact same in cryptocurrency I got completely wrecked in the last bull run, but I'm back in the game. A lot of people quit cryptocurrency because they just ha can't handle it. I know I want to be in cryptocurrency for the future. I can't really see any sort of other business on the side with the YouTube channel, but that makes me the most money is the cryptocurrency investments. And I also do this with finding gems. I bank these to the auto strategy with the easy to 10 X's that we'll talk about. And then I combine this with passive income strategies with DeFi pills. These, those are my kind of three source of income right now, but most of the money that I plan to make, and you probably plan to make, is with cryptocurrency, right? You can't go and create a business that is at 10x overnight. It doesn't really work like that, but you have to get the initial capital. So my goal with these videos is to help you do somewhat of the same, or at least worst case scenario, because I'm not gonna tell you to buy any coins. That's not what I'm here for. It's to just show you what's possible, and at the worst, worst, worst case, you get some motivation so you can start looking up more cryptocurrencies or you can at least take some fucking action and buy some altcoins rather than saying, oh, is it the right time to buy? I'm not sure I want to buy. And then eventually you buy when most coins are 20 to 30x up because I promise you by then you're buying too late. So here was me. This wasn't even too long ago, brother. This was, I remember this photo. <laughs> I was so poor, broke, etc. 
that I, this was one of the couches I had for my flats. I, I would bought it on like one of those like gum tree like sites where I would just literally, they would give it away for free because I couldn't even afford furniture. But I was still about it, right? This was before the kind of e-com blow up, working a nine to five job and the grind here was real. I literally spent all my money on food, steroids and gym. <laughs> that was it. And maybe the occasional night out drinking some alcohol. Everything was so wrong here. And I just didn't have this little thing up here. And this was before cryptocurrency. This is when I really started to transition, fix my diet, fix my expenses, and really start that business that I scaled up to millions of dollars per year. So you're probably here. And this is what I hated back here. I was kind of happy, but you could tell I was just pissed off. I was pissed off because I would come into work and I would have to deal with this. Russia were in Glasgow, Scotland. It wasn't as bad as this. I'm guessing this is America. But I imagine this is brutal. If you have to travel to work and you have to waste an hour of your time going there and coming back here in Bangkok, I see all the wages here. It's fucking brutal. You can't even move, right? These guys are just waiting in traffic all day and they waste so much time. And you probably hate this because after this bullshit, you come to this and it's just pain, 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 pain. You've maybe got the manager here and he's shouting at you. And I'm telling you this because you need to understand your situation right now. And if you're out of this situation, okay, that's great. You're at kind of level two, maybe level three, where I'm kind of at, where I'm just trying to go all in on cryptocurrency and this, you know, YouTube business and my DeFi liquidity pills and try and help as much of you guys for free as possible. But you probably hate this. And this is just like a joke, but this is true for a lot of people. You have a nagging wife and she's saying, why did you buy that coin? We've got rent you. Why aren't you taking me on holidays? Blah, 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 blah. Never had this issue because I would just tell them to F off. I'm on my own journey, but I had this issue. I was living in places like this. And um, like, this is like the scheme in Glasgow. Like you would just, it would just be painful to live here. There'd be a lot of drug addicts. There'd be a lot of bullshit. There'd be random kids outside just playing music. There'd be spray paint everywhere. Maybe you're not as bad as this, but chances are you have this and this. That's a, that's a bare minimum. And again, if you like your nine to five job, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. But you're interested in cryptocurrency. So use cryptocurrency at least to get you more money in the bank. And you probably want this. This kind of laptop lifestyle, this guy's just trading. This isn't me, by the way, but you know we, we do that on the side as well with our DeFi pills. But you probably want something like this where you have a nice view. You can take a couple of holidays more per year and then there's no traffic. You don't have to worry about traffic anymore. And maybe you want to go in some nice place like this. Maybe you want to buy something like this in the future. Maybe you just want to take this wife and maybe one day if you make a fuck ton of money, she'll stop nagging you and she'll go, Jeffrey, congratulations. You were right. I was wrong. I should have trusted you more. So this is just, a, it's like a joke here, but it's actually serious because I know a lot of people, especially on Instagram that are DMing me saying they have like three to four of these and it's driving them fucking crazy, right? You can use cryptocurrency to get you this, to get rid of this and to get you this if you want to go to that level. But that's probably why you're here. So the problem you have, and I said this at the start of the video is you don't just go to 5K to 100K, right? With one coin. There's a bunch of different ways you can do this. Like I said, I'm going to give you three ways. I'll talk about the first way right now, and you can do the first way, but I promise you, it's probably not the best way for you. You're not that lucky. I don't like to go to the casino with my picks, but everybody just wants to say, oh, you just catch a pump. I see it all the time. Just buy this coin, you'll be absolutely fine. This is a Solana example. It was a meme coin on Solana. It did well. It's still holding up, by the way. There could still be another potential 25x or 50x. That's fine. But the initial gains, the 100, 200, even 300 so x that it, this got where you could turn that 1k to 300k and scale this out, it's already gone, brother. It's already way, way too late. The market cap is way more juicier here. Back here, nothing was happening. But you're probably saying, well, you're probably not that lucky. You can't just come in here and gamble. You can't just stick that hard-earned money that this wife is nagging you and just put your last 5k on a con at this and spray and pray because what happens if it doesn't work? You have to go and get that other 5k, 10k and it probably is really hard to achieve that in the first place. So I want to get rid of this strategy because I don't think the spray and pray or just buy one or two altcoins which last a thousand dollars is the best way. You're probably not that lucky. It's not 2013 anymore. You can't just go and buy a two dollar Bitcoin, a 50 cents Ethereum. You can find those gains but most of the time you are playing with fire. So this is what I would do. Step one, you've got 5K. I would look at five initial coins to start putting your 1K in to start. A lot of people get this massively wrong just with speaking with people. I've spoke to many people that have booked calls with me. You can book a call with me if you want to learn our DeFi portfolio strategy where you can milk passive income, but only book that call if you're serious. It's a very high ticket program. I would rather help you for free rather than selling you something where we can't help you where you only have $5,000. I can't help you. 
that's just the reality of it right now come back to me if you use the strategy and you make 100k and you're like okay jake made me 95k profit let me invest in him now where i can go and get DeFi. right that's where you would come to me but my initial goal is not to sell you anything it's to just get you motivated on the right strategy so what i would do is five initial coins to put 1k in the start a lot of people like i said on these calls that i'm speaking to recently is they have 50 coins they have 100 coins with 5k and i asked them how much is in each coin and it's like, well, I've got $50 here, $100 here. And I'm like, how are you managing this? How are you managing some of these coins on the Ethereum gas fees? Do you even know? Do you have exit strategies on this? Like, what is this coin? He's like, ah, oh, well, I don't really know what that coin is. I'm like, how are you going to make any money, brother? You might get lucky with one of these coins, but if you put in $50, you get a 10x bump. It's 500 bucks. You would have done a lot better just putting more scope sniper version approaches. So with our initial play, we're not looking for 20 to 50 X plays. And you might be like, oh, Jake, that's what I need. Trust me, we can get these at the end, but we only have 5K, right? What I would tell you guys as well is get more money in the game. But every time I say that, retention on these videos drop and you guys go somewhere else. But that's it. That's initially a plan because if you add 15, 20, 30K, you can kind of skip step one and go to step two. But small investors, 5K, okay, we can at least start with something. So I would look at five coins and all we're doing and this is very easy if you know the right narratives, strategy, you're just looking for two to five X's, okay? And I would wrote this out in my row here as a quick example. Here is one here. So example, lowest market caps that we can get out fast. So these are three coins in the AI space, and these are two coins in the gaming space. Hold up, I know what you're thinking. Jake, I don't like these coins, what about these coins? You find the coins that you're interested in, all of these coins will most likely do well. All of these coins have already done well. Illumium, for example, went to $2,000 in the last bull run, right? It's only 96 right now, okay? That is an easy 3 to 4x. I'm playing this for the 10x, but with that small amount of money, you look at what the coin's done in the past. If the coin hasn't had a past bull run, okay, you look at where it's at right now. You look at the team, you look at the website users, you have to go and vet these projects because betting the full farm on Solana is very, very risky. It paid off for the guys that got in early. Bepe was another one. Pepe was another one. Mega Trump was another one, but chances are you're buying those coins now. They've already 100x, brother. You have to find the next one. So we can still use these five examples. And even if they don't do too well off the start, most likely these coins are going to still do a 5 to 10x absolute minimum from right now. So you're still going to get your initial capital to start moving. But we need to get that 2 to 3x as fast as possible and ideally by the end of 2024. So that's what we're really looking for. So I mapped this out on these five examples. Again, don't look at these examples. You have to find your five plays, okay? Team, narrative. Main thing I would say here is obviously this. This is the most important thing for me is this number right here. What these are is these are the market caps. If this was 6 billion, for example, on rows, it's too high. It's too high because then a 10x would be 60. Now you're competing with top coins. You're probably in the top 10, right? It's, it doesn't make sense anymore. Just buy Ethereum, just buy BNB. This one, 274 million. Ideally, I'm looking for sub 500 million, but I just wanted to include rows here because it kind of still ticks the box. I still think it's going to hit easily 2 to 3x by the end of 2024. And if Bitcoin can sort itself out and push back to 70, 80k, these coins will start ripping very, very fast. Money will flow, and especially in coins like Cedify, which has a great platform, Illumium, which I'm fucking long term bullish on. I've got a lot, lot of money on there. But the beautiful thing is, let's just say Illumium fails or just does lackluster, you'll still print, you'll still make money. The most important thing is you're not too spread, but you have enough money in where you can do damage. Because if you've only got 500 bucks and you put 100 bucks in these, you have to just go crazy. You have to just look for, you know, five to 10 X's off the bat, and then you have to scale that out. So if you're at $500 portfolio, video is probably not for you. Get back in at nine to five, go and deliver a pizza, come back to this video when you've got 5K and we'll go from this point going forward. So what you're doing for 1K in and your initial goal is just three to five K. So a three to five X with each of these plays as fast as possible. Some of them are not going to be exact. Some of them will just randomly move when you least expect it, but you just have a sniper focus. Maybe you have them in a hard wallets. Maybe you have them in good exchanges and you just are constantly looking at them and you're just trying to get out here as fast as possible. Now, what will happen after this is you have a minimum of 15 K to 25 K. Okay. You can leave some money in if you want, you can just leave the initial investment in your one K. So that worst case scenario, you still have those coins that will do well by 2025. But now with 20 or so K on average, we can really do damage, right? We can start looking at our place for 2025. 
And what we can do after that is we can either do this again, you go and find other five coins while still leaving your initial 1k in, and you still have leftover money as well to play with. And now you can start having a portfolio of 15 coins with at least 1k each in. You see the difference here, guys? That is the difference. The problem with the 5k is either what people tell you to do is to put 5k on just one coin or they put 5k on 50 to 75 coins. And you might be thinking, well, that's not me. Trust me, the guys that I've spoke to with this kind of strategy, they have 50 to 75 coins. It's fucking crazy. And they have 50 bucks here, 100 bucks here, but 20 bucks here. I've even heard some guys say it. it's fucking crazy, brother. It doesn't work. So after you get the initial pump, then we can start banking Bitcoin. And you might be like, well, Bitcoin's not going to do that well. But remember, you've got your initial in here. And at least you're going to get a 2 to 3x of Bitcoin, Ethereum probably 3 to 4x, Solana probably 4 to 5x, BNB probably the same. And then we can get this 2 to 3x from longer term plays. Does that make sense? These are, I don't want to say the word guarantee, I can't guarantee anything, but these are somewhat guaranteed to make you money off the initial 3 to 15 to 25k. And now we have the money working for us, right? Now we're constantly making money. And after this shit, we do it again. Or we can go down pre-sale gamble stuff that I'm kind of doing right now just because I've just so much money just to gamble in 1k here, 1k here, 1k here. If they 10x, I'm out so, so fast. Some of them are fucking 50, 60x, which is very rare because most of them just do lackluster, but I'm in and out so fast. Sometime within a week, for example, on my lovely um, coin MLC, and that plans to launch on Monday. So I've got, give or take, 1.3k in terms of you know money there, and I've got about 13k coins if that does super super well we get 13 so k out we might leave 1k in and now we've got 12k just to play with so that's what you kind of do at phase three does that make sense i just want to pause this video around does that make sense because the problem with the fucking this shit or the spray and pray you're gambling we are gambling somewhat anyways in terms of cryptocurrency but at least now we have a strategy we know when we want to get out we know how much that's going to be, and then we know where to keep the money flowing. Because you can't just keep 25k in your bank account, right? Let's just say you do that and you're done. And then what? And then what? Eventually, this money, you're going to spend it. Eventually, this money is just going to go down with the dollar value going down, and then you're going to be back at square one, and then you're going to be in this shit all over again very, very fast. 25k is nothing, but 25k to now run this 2025 bull run is a lot of money to do the damage, right? That's the difference. In the real world, it doesn't get you very far. A flight here to Thailand, one way cost me 3K, back 3K. You're now got 15K left. How are you going to, like, rent for this place is 5K? You're, you're out of money immediately, right? Yes, you don't have to spend that much money, but you probably want more in life, brother. You probably want more in life. So what I do after that is once you have that strategy printing of go and pick another coins and then you come back on the gaming picks and you do this all over again, and then maybe, like I said, you bank the Bitcoin, you bank Ethereum, you bank BNB, you bank Solana, you maybe bank some stable coins as well, just for the dips, etc. And then we use what I'm doing right now, which is a hybrid version of DeFi liquidity pools. I don't want this to go over your head because when I mention this, some people just fucking lose their mind. But this is just what I'm doing to get passive income on coins I already have. So what we do is we do this as fast as possible. And we're only doing them coins that we hold. So again, don't do this on Shiba Inu 2.0 because a million percent of a coin that goes to zero. You know what that is? Did you learn maths? I did. Barely. But that's zero, <laughs> right? So we still look at decent APYs. For example, I'll just show you Turbo Finance right now. I believe in the Sui coin. If you don't believe in the Sui coin, you don't touch this. But you can see here my APYs are pretty decent with wide ranges. And every single day... You can see on my spreadsheet, I'm collecting $9 from this bill, 28 from this, blah, 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 blah. Here's the monthly revenue, etc. But the most important thing is I'm accumulating free Sui coins for fucking free, right? That is what I'm playing with this game. So you need to be able to understand that if you want to go to this phase, you can skip this phase completely, by the way, and just play phase one and phase two, where you just do this over and over again. But this is what I would do with that little bit of extra money. To start building you like a real estate portfolio but inside cryptocurrency. It's very, very addicting. So you can see here, I've got 16.6K invested. My goal is to get this to 10K per month, and I'm going to be deploying more capital pretty much within this week. So my goal is to get this to $300 per day. I'm already at $80 per day with Solana, Render, Sui, and Stablecoins. And that is a yearly income right now of 25K. That's fucking crazy because back here, I was making about 15K GBP, so about 18K USD probably, okay? And I had to go and work for that. I had to slave away, slave away hard as F in a place like this and stuff like this. Didn't have this. My girls have always been nice to me, but I had to do a lot of this 
And this manager, oh God, he was a he was a crazy man if I wasn't picking up the phone trying to make gym sales in my job. So 1.2K per month, I'm pretty happy with that. But like I said, I want to get this to 9 to 10K as fast as possible. Again, if you don't know what you're doing here, go on just YouTube. I've got another channel called Jake Gordon. It's under the channel name Defi Daddy, and I really teach that in depth. But regardless, if you do this or don't do this, you can skip this phase. But the most important thing is just to do this. You come back to here when you want to get more passive income. You start stacking up your coins. And remember, this is all you're interested in. You're here for 2025. Why is that important? Well, if you understand bear and bull cycles, and if I understood this last bull run, I'd be a multimillionaire by now because... I was planning to ride this all the way up to like 250k, 100k, and I would have probably stepped and kept holding on. Right back at square one, this is when you should have been buying. We're now back up, you know, pretty much previous all-time highs. We obviously got to 70k, etc. You're doing this over and over again. 2025, we're probably somewhere around here. We're going to crash again, and you rinse and repeat this. But now that I've got these DeFi pools under my arsenal, I don't care about making money tomorrow anymore. I just want to keep accumulating this every single day as fast as possible and get my goal as fast as possible. I don't care if we go down. It changes the strategy. Imagine if you didn't care if prices went down anymore. It almost took a big stress of my head because I had the main problem after this bull run of like, oh yeah, I'll just buy real estate, right? I'll just buy real estate, I'll buy a very expensive 125K GBP watch up a tick. Um, and I'll just do that. Problem was, this isn't earning me passive income. It probably holds a value. The Real estate doesn't earn me nearly enough on what I want to accumulate to the 10K per month. In my country, Glasgow, Scotland, you need about 1 million to 1.2 million to hit 10K per month. On these DeFi pools, right now, you need about 70 to 80K to hit 10K per month, not including price appreciation of coins that you probably think are going to do well in 2025. That's the difference. So that's what I would do in phase kind of three. And I'll say to you last again, this is very, very important. There are a million ways to do this, but this is just what I would do. If I had 5k and I wanted to hit 100k, I'm literally doing the exact same. I'm in the trenches with you guys. I'm in the trenches doing this live with you guys, but I just have a bigger bag, right? Just because I've been in the game longer. And all you need to do, if this is all you have, you have to play catch up as fast as possible. But betting on this shit with one coin, that will play catch up as fast as possible, but you will lose the 5k if you don't know what you're doing. I would much rather you guys come and play this game with your five all coins, come over to this, rinse and repeat this and then maybe do this if you want to go under the passive income way because the beauty of this is and i said this at the start you don't need to be 100 percent in cryptocurrency the initial five coins that you pick literally two to three can flop and you can still come out mad profitable right think about that there's not really another investment that can flop if you put all your money into a fucking expensive watch right nothing happens this watch doesn't pay me dividends it just it's just it's just a luxury lifestyle it's just an investment for me it holds its value etc my friend Alex, he's got a, a Rolex here. It just holds its value. Maybe you can make some money in the future, but it's just to hold its value. It's a lot better than cash once you get to that level. But the five picks that you pick, two to three can literally flop. And they won't go to zero if you're picking strong you know, gaming coins, AI coins. They're not going to go to zero. They might just hold the value. They might go down $200, $300. You're still going to be here for the next bull run. But the initial other two to three, you can start stealing that out, right? You can start making like 3K off each of those. And then you're now left with like 9K just with two to two to three that have just flopped or just done nothing that's the beautiful thing about this and then you can go and do that again go and do that again hopefully that makes sense i don't want to confuse you guys because i have a big problem with people telling you just buy bitcoin and ethereum okay do the maths on that 5k investment you're doing no damage nothing's happened okay just buy one coin okay what are the chances of you hitting 100x fucking nothing okay buy 50 coins but i've already told you about that way it doesn't work so if you can do this way i just think this is the best way and the best strategy at least what i'm doing if you don't like that that's completely fine but that's just what i'm personally doing the lesson here is just don't put 5k on some random coin skip the other phases because 99 percent of the time this is not going to be 99 percent of the time what's going to happen is you buy something expect it to do this and what actually happens is nothing happens <laughs> that's that that's the harsh reality of this game and you need to have a plan and you need to execute this hopefully that was valuable goodbye peace